welcome again. Right, we'll start by explaining the title of this particular video. And that's Don't Forget the Small, the Large. Now, as wildlife photographers, you spend a lot of time waiting for your prey, if you like. And uh, it can get boring. But if you look around, there'd be other little things happening, small birds, small animals, mammals, um, and little birds littering about. So the thing is not to forget them because sometimes you can end up with some great shots. Um, like of course you've got to keep your eye open for the particular um, species that you're out for. I particularly like uh, raptors larger birds of any kind really, from owls and uh, harriers and hawks and uh, buzzards. That's more my <coughs> my sort of thing. But um, smaller birds can give you uh, some interesting and challenging shots, so don't ignore them and uh, it gives you a chance to uh, use up what three time you may have. The trouble is don't get too engrossed because you can miss the shot that you've come out to get. Okay, so that's all I've got to say on that. That explains the title and uh, let's get on with the video. So before the shorty turned up I made my way around the other side of um, some big bushes and trees and found this kestrel perch there. I managed to get up fairly close and get my two shots and then back to my original location as a shorty had turned up and was uh, on, the, on the post posing for me quite nicely. So I managed to get one or two shots and it just shows a bit of perseverance makes all the difference. So you don't always get what you're looking for, but uh, you have to have perseverance and uh, patience and uh, it usually pays off as it has done in this instance. I was hoping to get one or two marsh harriers as well. But, uh, I was quite pleased with the shots that I managed to get um, with the shorty here. As it posed for me, it came quite close and posed in the grass for us, which was quite nice. And then, a little later on, we did have an appearance of a Marsh Harrier. It was one that had been tagged and you can you can see the red tags on the wings, on the leading edge of the wings. And this one was tagged ND, so it was tagged in Norfolk. I have seen ones that have been tagged in Suffolk. Um, but no, that's nice to see. And then uh, we had an appearance of the barn owl very briefly as well. So that all added. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And if you would subscribe, be much appreciated. Also, would you press or click on the bell as well? That will give you notifications of when the next video is coming out and what is happening. So press on the, sub press on the subscribe button and on the bell button will give you all that you need. Many thanks again. Hope to see you next time. Cheers for now. Thanks for watching and could you please give us a thumbs up that would be good and maybe subscribe as well. Most Much appreciated and hopefully we will see you next time. If you subscribe you will get notification of when the next video comes out. So many thanks for that and bye for now.